and we're ready for the party. Hey, you're supposed to be cleaning up out here. Cleaning up. <laughs> Michael, you call this clean? Now, mine's only been gone one day, and you turn a 17th floor apartment into a pig pen with a view. Well, Thelma, to tell you the truth, I like it. It's got that lived-in look. Look, if you don't clean up this mess, you're gonna have that stomped on look. Thelma, don't get overheated. Your face will melt. <laughs> Michael, look, now we all agreed to share the work while Maya's out on Jesse's, right? Now, I did my part. Oh, yeah? What have you done? Who do you think cooked dinner around here? I don't know, but I'm sure the health department would get plenty to know that. <laughs> Michael, don't get smart with me. Now get up and clean this place like don't, you promised. Hold on now, I cleaned this room up yesterday. All right, but look at it. Now, it is I, getting tired. I think the news is gonna be a party tonight. All the chicks can come boogie down with kid Dino May. <laughs> because if Alona finds out about the party, we're not gonna have one. Yeah, you're right. And I got a big surprise. What one thing could guarantee making this party a huge and utter success? You're not coming. <laughs> I will be there. But so will Robert Simpson! Hey, Superstar Simpson, out of sight, man. He was my hero, the best basketball player our high school ever had. All city, all state. All the chicks that he could handle. <laughs> you know, he took me out once. Mm, nobody's perfect. <laughs> get up and get dressed and clean up this living room. Says who? Says me. You heard, Ma, she put me in charge. Oh, I got news for you, Thelma. You just been unincharged. <laughs> From now on, I'm giving the orders around here. What did you say? That's right. This was known as a military coup. From now on, <laughs> refer to me as El Presidente. <laughs> And we can get things rolling by you starting to vacuum the rug here, you fixing us dinner, and you doing the dishes. Michael, you in charge of garbage detail. And what are you going to do? I'm going to rest up from all this military cooping. <laughs> Come on, Thelma, let's try it. Yeah, try it, Thelma. I'll show you all how easy the hustle is. Here we are at Marshall Fields Department Store, going through revolving doors. <laughs> Michael, you go over there, you play the floor manager. I'll pretend like I'm a shopper. Thelma, do your thing. Do it to it, Thelma. Oh, my. I think I'm going to faint. Oh! Holy cow. Poor little girl has fainted here in Marshall Fields Department Store. <laughs> The horse with bows of holly, fa la 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 la. Keith looks better than Muhammad Ali, fa la 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 la. To me, he looks like a mangy collie, fa la 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 la. Instead of turkey, eat tamale, cha la 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 la. Sing it, Mama. Thank you for a wonderful night, Larry. Not so fast. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The evening is not over yet. We got to tell him. I told you we will. Now stop mixing business with pleasure. <laughs> you know something? I love you, baby cakes. <laughs> I love you too, pudding pie. <laughs> What's this, the ending of a date or the opening of a bakery? How long were you standing there watching us? Long enough to know he could improve his technique. What's the big deal about apologizing? You don't have to mean it. I ain't giving up my principles. You're gonna be giving up a lot of skin. <laughs> like I told you before, Michael, when it comes to getting suspended, you ain't in for no ordinary whipping. You're going to get the VIP job. <laughs> Very intense pain. Michael, if you apologize, I'll give you my autographed picture of Billy D. Williams. 
Hey, did he lead any protest marches? No, I don't think so. I ain't interested. <laughs> right, well, maybe you're right about George Washington. But George already made his farewell speech. No reason you making yours. Listen to JJ. He might not ever be right again. <laughs> Thelma, JJ, I love y'all both, but nothing's gonna change my mind. And you're supposed to be the small one in the family. You get good grades in school, but you get an F in survival. <laughs> well, I might as well give you some of the finer points on how to get through one of Daddy's AAA specials. <laughs> now, first, when you put you over his knee, get one of them so full. What did I do, boy? <laughs> <laughs> you can pull it off, but you got that sweet, innocent face. Personally, it never worked for me. <laughs> yeah, Michael, it helps to cry a lot. That's what I always do. Cry? Men don't cry at whippings. Don't cry. Just groan. Groan. <laughs> and make it like the world's coming to an end. That usually cuts down on the beating time considerably. <laughs> I intend to suffer in silence. Well, go ahead and suffer. But do yourself a favor. Yell! <laughs> yeah. Dad's gonna say, this hurts me as much as it hurts you. <laughs> Make him believe it. <laughs> I'll turn on the light, okay? Okay. All right. Just keep talking. I'll follow the sound of your voice. Okay. You're getting warmer. Is this warm enough, cupcake? <laughs> Sleeping, that's for sure. <laughs> Give me, JJ, I'm getting out. <laughs> hey, Michael, go back here with those blankets, man. I feel like a naked chicken out here. Well, chicken, here are your feathers. Hey. Hey, JJ. You can't leave now. You know I'm cooking dinner tonight and need someone here to insult me. Oh, now, come on, Dumber. You know it's all my fault. Oh, JJ. Ever since Daddy died, you've been trying to fill his shoes. Well, somebody's got to. Yeah, I know, but it's just too hard for one person. The whole family has to. Dumber, the whole family's getting thrown out in the street. Well, maybe not. You know, when I talked to Alona, she said she could put me on full time at the boutique, and I could make a lot of money. But, Thelma, you're going to college. Well, I just have to drop out for a little while, that's all. Oh, no, you won't. Then you'll never go back, and you'll be unemployable, just like me. Look, JJ, I am an adult now, and I'm capable of making up my own mind. And I say I'm going to do it, and I'm going to do it. Did you tell Ma about this yet? No. She'll kill me. <laughs> yeah, not before I get to you. Look here, Thelma. You ain't dropping out of school, and that's final. Oh, but JJ, somebody's got to do something. Somebody's going to do something. Should have thought about this in the first place. I know where I can get the money. You know where you can get the money? Where? Look, baby girl, you just go back in there and don't tell Ma you're dropping out of school, you hear? JJ, all that is fine. What if you're confident that you don't have confidence? Then just repeat after me. I am the greatest. I am the greatest. <laughs> I can have any girl that I want. I can have any girl that I want. <laughs> I'm not afraid of Yvonne. I am not afraid of Yvonne. <laughs> Tell her I ain't him. Well, uh... I guess I better be going then. JJ, you know, even though we don't agree with what you're doing, you know we still love you, right? Hey, <laughs> that goes without saying, you know? But it's nice to hear anyway.
Yes, Keith, that was my gift to you. You're gonna be a daddy. Oh, my baby girl. I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, my. I'm going to be a godmother. <laughs> and I'm gonna be a babysitter. <laughs> Hey, man, this means we're gonna be uncles. <laughs> yeah, if it's a girl, we can be aunts. 